everyone, my name is Cindy and today I am going to show you how to use a road trip planning app. Uh, because it is the summer season, which is a great time to get out and travel. So whether you want to just go out into nature or maybe try to see if you can't uh, make up for a vacation you listed, you missed last summer, it's always a good time to plan a road trip. So the first thing you're going to have to do is you will go to your App Store or your Google Play Store and you're going to download Road Trippers, Trip Planner. Uh, it's this R right here. Um, it is free to use, although of course there is a free and a premium version. And it is also good for both Android and Apple products. Then once you've downloaded it, you'll open the app by clicking on it. And you'll get something like this. It'll ask if you want to use, if uh, you want to allow the app to use your location, which you do want to allow the app to do at least while you're using it, because that's how it figures out where you are and it sort of scans the area for uh, different things you might be interested in. Uh, and then it'll take you to the uh, opening screen like this, and it's going to ask you to create an account. Now, if you want to save your trips, if you really want to get the most out of the app, you will need to eventually make an account. You can uh, sync it with your Gmail or your Facebook. Uh, you can also use RoadPass, I believe. Uh, but if you don't want to come up with yet another new account, you can always just go to Maybe Later. And then it's going to take you to this opening screen. So as you can see, I am in Frankfurt right now. We have this little map up here that shows my general location. Uh, it tells me what the weather is like. And then we have all of these really cool things. So this is our nearby page in which we can look for uh, sort of adventures nearby. So for example, you are in Frankfurt for the day and you would like to get a quick lunch. You can just click on quick lunch and then around me and that will tell you all the places on the map fairly nearby that you can eat at. And you can just pick one. You can also zoom in. Uh, I'm going to specifically click on Benson Marina and Willie's Tiki Bar. <laughs> And so you see when you highlight it with your finger at the bottom, you get a little uh, menu that says its name, and then you click on that, and that will take you to whatever information is about it. Now, Benson Marinas doesn't actually have a bunch of information, and sometimes things won't. So if you get one like this that doesn't have a lot of information, I do recommend going online and checking and making sure uh, that that location is still operating. So far, it looks like Road Trippers does a decent job of monitoring when things close or, or change their hours, but it's not foolproof. So I would recommend before getting your hopes up, you do check things like this that look uh, a little bit bare. Meanwhile, if you wanted to look at something that might have a bit more information, we can click on Bourbon on Main. And you see Bourbon on Main has a little bit more information. They let you know when they're closed. They let you know what the website is. It looks like there is an official review. There's a couple of photos, things like that. And then we just hit the back button. So different locations will have different amounts of information. It just depends. Now I wanna go back to nearby because I wanna show you some more stuff. So for example, if you kind of like look down a little bit, you can see that they offer you some nearby trips. Like you just don't know what you wanna do. So you're like, well, what's what's around? I sometimes like sort of more creepy places, little haunted places, especially as we start looking towards fall. And it looks like they've got this sort of fun example of a, a haunted area, like a little haunted tour. So if you thought this was interesting, you could always click on take this trip and then you can save an editable copy of this trip and take it with you offline. So we hit save and that is where actually having an account is going to, um, is going to sort of fit in. If you want to do these things, you need an account. It is free, but you do need an account. We're going to go to maybe later. Uh, 
So let's go back. Here are the other tabs. There's also always the map tab. Now, let's say I wanted to like actually go on a trip. The map is gonna show us where we can go, but if we wanna actually start our trip, we gotta go to this nearby thing and then hit start new trip. So it's got our current location and I want to go to Point Pleasant, West Virginia. Some of you might know that Point Pleasant, West West Virginia is home of the Mothman. <laughs> and there are quite a few things you can see along the way. So you put wherever it is you want to end up, Disney World, New York, Point Pleasant, uh, Mammoth Caves, wherever. And you can then search along the route. I like to look for points of interest. Um, let's see, abandoned, because I'm a little silly. And then we hit back. I also want to look for things to do. I like offbeat attractions, and let's hit back. Uh, obviously, I'm going to need food and drink. I like diner spots um, and wineries, breweries, and distilleries, and then we hit back. And I'm going to say that's good for now, and then you just hit the start trip button at the bottom, and it's sort of goes this. And so you can see what my, what like the fastest route is going to be. That's essentially what it does. You'd have to fiddle with it a little bit more if you didn't want to take the fastest route. And then what you can do is you can kind of just get a little bit closer and look and see if anything looks interesting. For example, I would like to make the Wallace Station Deli and Bakery one of my stops. So I clicked on it on the bottom, the little tab comes up. I click on it again so I get more information and I can kind of learn a few things. There are a few reviews, uh, there are a few photos, but what I want to do is I want to add to trip and it is now on my trip. I'm going to hit back and so you can see that it's added a little stop off point for me. Now Let's say you don't want to look this close to the highway. You want to go a little bit off the beaten path. If you hit these three vertical dots at the top of your screen, you can make some changes. So first off, you can adjust distance from route. You can go pretty far up. You can go infinite, but I don't think that's really going to help you. So I recommend don't going any more further out than 29 miles unless you want to kind of get overwhelmed with options. And you hit done and you can see the search area has gotten a lot bigger so there are a lot more things that i can start uh looking forward to for example over here we have the woodland cemetery i like looking at sort of haunted places as we talked about and this one actually has a lot of information about it there are some reviews there's a photo um, there are some nearby trips, there are even some nearby hotels, but all I'm interested in doing is adding to trip. And then when I go back, you can see it's a second spot. Now, you can just keep kind of doing that. If you're only using the free version, you can only do up to seven places. So, you know, I'm going to end at the Mothman Museum because that's why I'm here. <laughs> So you can only do seven uh, stop off places. So that's something to kind of keep in mind. And if you want to know where your trips are, if you click on this profile tab at the bottom, you would have a little bar here that says trips. It would also have a lot more information about you. But right now, since we didn't create an account, we're not going to get any of that. So if you really want to make the most out of this app, I do recommend at least signing up for the free account because then you can download your trips. Uh, you can potentially add more stop off points. Um, and it's just a lot more customization is possible when you at least get that free account. Uh, so yeah. And then the last tab that we haven't looked at yet are guides. And so these are just a ton of different, sort of like how we had earlier trips nearby. These are just a ton of different potential things that you can do. Like if you really uh, enjoy going on road trips, 
but you don't always really enjoy planning road trips, you know, just look at guides and kind of, you know, you could do the featured one, classic American road trips, national park trips, or you can just once again see what is nearby and you have quite a few options. And whenever you find something that looks interesting, for example, finding Dolly Parton in Nashville, you can click on that and you can see this pretty in-depth uh, article sort of post about finding Dolly Parton in Nashville. And once again, if you at least get the free account, you can download and take this trip. So that is Road Trippers. I hope you found it interesting. I hope you found it inspiring. Uh, I hope it's something that you'll consider using. Uh, once again, it is good for Android and Apples. It is free uh, to at least plan smaller trips. And I hope that you know, it's something that you can use. So if you have any questions, feel free to comment on this video and I'll do my best to help you. Otherwise, I hope you have a great day. Bye.